So all my TurboTax stuff that I was working on this year got like deleted. So that's been tough to digest that I'm just like I almost feel like I kind of start to like digest it more like uh, it's almost it it almost it's almost like I kind of digest it at points but then like it hits me again <laughs> Like, one or more times, it's, like, it, like, kind of comes back and hits me when I've, like, maybe partially digested it or digested it some or something. Like, after all, like, apparently, yeah, because on, on TurboTax, like, I guess if you don't, if, even though you can, like, with taxes in general, you have three years to fill it out if you don't owe money. And I might have ended up owing money um, in regards to last year. But like, if you if you don't owe money, you have like three years, I think, to do your taxes. Um, but on on TurboTax, if you don't, and granted, you know, if I think about it, like, I mean the normal deadline is April, was April something, but then October 16 is, like, I guess another kind of deadline with tax stuff, and, like, with TurboTax, if you don't, if you don't, um, do your tax stuff by October 16, it just gets rid of whatever you haven't submitted, like, it would be nice if maybe they, it doesn't seem to be the case, because I did end up being able to, because this is yesterday, yesterday is when I, like, had some time before I was going to go, you know, it's probably, plan I, I did end up going to New Life to, like, pick up a bag lunch or sack dinner or whatever, or whatnot, and, like, so I was kind of planning on that, which I did end up doing, um, that's what I ended up doing. I think that, that like an hour before that, I think I was even kind of thinking in that direction. So, I, but I had like an hour or so. And like, I went on TurboTax and like, and, you know, I see this like notification or like this, like it's has this thing that it's saying. And like, and then like, I'm kind of like, internally freaking a little bit or kind of like or anxious or something but not in good equilibrium not like <laughs> not like making logical best steps or whatever but or able to be in that frame there's definitely things that take you off of, like one to be able like to make it more big picture than just a kind of little situation of like seeing something on a screen that like throws you off and then like figuring how to navigate that like to make it more big picture like with making the best steps in life like one that there's a certain like knowledge or ability or whatever that goes into that so for you to even like get to that or have that or to be at a good level of that is one thing but then to not be thrown off by like fear or anxiousness or distractions like or I mean that kind of you know maybe there's a lot of people around in whatever situation like just things that can take you off your equilibrium like it's one thing to get to like a high level of you know making the best chess moves in life or maybe not even the best but like good or great chess moves in your life and then it's another thing to be able to like not be knocked off your equilibrium or something but anyway so back to this example though i'm and i'm gonna be comparing this to like life like big picture like life because 
like, this is something that I was working on, like, on it, like, this year has been such, such a thing as far as taxes, because, especially because of that backpack theft, because, and those forms that I think were in that backpack, or maybe, or maybe they're in the binder that was in the backpack, I don't know, but, like, because, you know, for taxes, like, you get mailed or whatever, you get your information from your employers and stuff, but then this year, like, and taxes are already, already kind of like a process in the first place, but then, even though I had, like, some of the stuff, and that's, an, it's, and that's another thing, like, even, it's not even, like, when the stuff was stolen, like, I had nothing in there, like, I think, if I recall correctly, like, I had a, a good amount, like, I had some of the stuff in there, but it was still the case that, like, I had to contact, like, maybe two employers or something. I don't know, it's been a while, but I, I, I think I at least had, uh, I think I at least had some of, um, of the, uh, of the form of the information from the forms on TurboTax before I before it was stolen or in a backpack or something that was stolen. I think it's been a while, but excuse me. So like there was maybe even just like maybe just two employers. I don't know, it's been a while, but like maybe two employers that I just had to like contact something like that. But like so that <laughs> And, and then like, and then also like, I'm, I'm like, de like, I like want to put all, like, I'm very like specific with stuff. So I want to put even like, if I got 200 or 300 something dollars from modeling at MSUM, like I want to put that in. If I, you know, I, I ended up remembering that, uh, that I did a sleep study like this, like, at a, like there's one point that I ended up like along the line of this year that. I ended up realizing they're like, oh yeah, that sleep study kind of thing. And then, so like, I tried to contact them, man, t I mean, so like, man, like, cause even, even just with the sleep study thing, or like when I was trying, when I was trying to figure out like in more recent months, even with like remembering that sleep study thing, or like when I like was trying to figure out like state withholding or whatever and I kept trying to call or or email or whatever I was doing for like trying to contact WeFest as far as the state withholding thing I was trying to figure like I even called um the day labor place like and not even and in that case with the day labor place maybe not even per se that I needed their information but to help me like kind of understand state something state withholding related i've done taxes in past years i don't remember state withholding being like a thing like that but there's so so the and like the stuff that i just said is just even like examples of like efforts in like more recent months like earlier in the year for like msum modeling like that was an effort to try to like touch base on that and like and and there was a point where they had already maybe like left a voicemail or something and I don't know if like I'd had a phone stolen around then or maybe not whatever the whatever the case like I hadn't seen the the voicemail right away but like so I was able to contact them but they had already left a voicemail or something in the past I think but to even to find out that and like and I I like I care about specifics like I kind of try to do things the right way like like even though I'm like kind of wanting or kind of starting to maybe like kind of st starting to like move away like even when stuff says like I've read and agree like on paperwork like I try to read the thing or like at least look at it to some degree like when even in paperwork when it says like I've read and understand something like I'm kind of starting to like make it suffice to maybe just like, I don't know, I've kind of played with that this year, not, not even in relation to taxes, like in relation to just in general, like to 
there's points maybe this year where like if it's a readed I have read and understand situation that like I like just there's some times that I've just like taken some time to just kind of like kind of like uh kind of jump around and just kind of like try to I guess just look at kind of look at stuff in it a little bit but not like word for word like in the past that's what I try to do and like even though at points this year, not in relation to taxes, but just like if there's a situation, like some type of paperwork situation, that's like a read and understand thing. Like me, I don't know. Like, I don't know if I had any of those for like turbo tax where there was something that I, if I would have gotten towards the end, there might've been, but, but most, most or all would have been outside of tax related stuff. I, I think. But I just kind of played with, there's a point, there's one or more points this year where I kind of like just had to be like a thing of, there's one or more times where I played with like just kind of giving myself a certain amount of time and just kind of like jumping around in there or, or just kind of jumping around or something like, I don't know. I kind of loosened the grips or kind of played with stuff a little bit at one or more points this year but like so that's an example of like how specific or like I can be or whatever like so that's another thing that like if I didn't care about like putting in the info of the sleep study or putting in the info of the MSUM thing or putting in the info of like just you know like I can be specific like that and in life, like, there's certain, but every, everybody has their nuances, though, of things that, like, they just have to kind of do a certain way and that, like, kind of can slow them down, like, big picture, just talking about life in general. But, um... Um, but like that's one thing that would have that if I wasn't like that but that's I mean you are who you are then there's certain things that you can switch up or play with like and I kind of tried to play with that read and understand stuff this year which would not be relevant to taxes as this I mean as far as I got into taxes but that's an example of how specific or stuff. Like when I got a job at Wells Fargo years ago, like they the, literally the people that I was working for, or like like they were like they didn't even expect me to like go through all that onboarding stuff like like that, and like we're even getting like we're maybe even getting a no like I don't know. In, in for U-Haul, like, my, like, wanting to do things to the T, like, that's why I didn't end up getting a job. Like, if I would have just, like, been laissez-faire and just d did it as the boss was saying, but, like, there's a way that the paperwork thing is saying, like... And, and like... But like with the Wells Fargo thing, though, there is there is something in the onboarding that was like really lets you know that like you're supposed to actually be like, I don't know, like reading or doing the stuff because like there is a point in that Wells Fargo onboarding that like it moved on, like if you moved on to the next page, it was like if you... <laughs> I don't remember exactly how what it's would have said it, but it was like if you um I don't know how how it asked or said it, but like you're on one page, you go to the next page, and then it like it was like if you didn't I don't know if it would have said like if you didn't read the last page or if you didn't whatever, whatever, then 
go, I don't know, go back and read it or something. Like, the way I'm explaining it may not capture it, but, like, because, like, if you're looking at paperwork, it's, you know, it's kind of whatever. But, like, if it, like, there's a point where it was, where it was, like, oh, they actually expect you to read this stuff. Like, and I may not even be driving it home well, because the way that I, like, that's such a novel like I haven't seen something like that because it's not just like it's not like because the way that I s ex just said it it may not come across well of like how whatever it said was because it wasn't just like oh if you don't know this or you haven't happened to run into this you should probably go back to the like it was it was different like it was like but I don't know, I don't, like, know, I don't know if I, anyway, it was, but it was something that kind of let me know that, like, okay, they, like, this is, they really want you to, like, I care about, like, even, like, reading the Bible growing up, like, you know, there's people that are Christians that, like, haven't read the Bible, and, and like I've read it three times and that's that's like a good thing and a bad thing because the Bible is difficult. But then also like if it's something that you seriously believe in, then like you shouldn't I mean, that's stuff that you should dance with. Like so the way that I'm like specific with stuff will serve me and also like work against me. But yeah, I don't, like, I don't know how to explain that Wells Fargo thing well, I guess. But that was weird. Like, I even told the boss about that, and he was like, and he he thought that's something that shouldn't happen. But, like, to me, that, that lets you know that, like, they actually want you to read this stuff. Because the way that I'm saying it, it might sound like, because there's times where you can read something... Like, I don't like, I don't know if it'd be in relation to like school readings or whatever the situation would be. But I, there's, I feel like there's times where like you could be reading something and it could be like, if you don't know this or if you need to refresh on this or whatever, like go back to this. Like, I'm not talking about like a just little thing like that. It was like, you know, like onboarding is something or paperwork stuff is something that you, you may feel like you don't really need to like be looking at like. Oh, maybe it was the, so like maybe on, maybe it was like something in this Wells Fargo onboarding, maybe it was something where you had to like press, I would guess not on every page, but like maybe the preceding page was something that you had to press like okay on or, um, or I don't know that it would have been like a, I have read and understand thing, but maybe you had to like click something and then like on the next page it's like if you pressed that thing or if you said whatever and you didn't read it then go back and read like something like that Th that kind of paints it better I think that maybe paints it a little better so like that's like <laughs> so okay they mean business like imagine if you like read a page or you're like looking at a page and then at the bottom maybe you have to click an I agree button or a I have read and understand or I mean, I don't think it would have been, I have read, understand, but something you click some type of acknowledgement thing. And then the next page, it's like, if you click that and you didn't read it, then go back. <laughs> like, oh, okay. <laughs> they mean, okay. Like that illustrates better what I'm trying to say, but like, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a specific, I'm a person that like cares about specifics to, to a deficit but like how much there's a there's a way that it's good and there's a way that it's not good like even in jobs like if i do day labor jobs like if it's a factory day labor job which a lot of day labor stuff is like factory and stuff um though recently with this newer place this year excuse me um like hotels is something that i was ending up getting into but like in the past, day labor places can in, can involve 
factory stuff. And there's places that I'll get DNR'd from, which is do not retar- return, because which, I mean, it's not a good thing, but it's also not an unheard of thing. Like, it's, I don't know if I want to say that's a regular thing or a common thing, but, like, it's a thing that can happen. Um, like, people, people get DNR'd from places. I don't know how common you would say that is, but... Because maybe I shouldn't say it's common, but, but, um, like I would get DNR'd from places because like I'd be too slow and some of that being too slow kit might be because like there's, there's me not knowing the right way to do things or wanting to do things the right way. And like, and, um, instead of just like being fast and going with the flow like i care i care about accuracy or trying to get like but even though i care about accuracy it's not that i'm like efficient with that attempt or wanting that accuracy or or that eye on accuracy or wanting accuracy like it doesn't mean that i'm efficient or whatnot um I just got a message from a day labor place, but, um, but I haven't been doing day labor recently. And this month, this month is supposed to be focused on, I had the idea of doing like, I had the idea of like for different hours of the day this month to like devote it to different things. And that was one idea, and then another point there is an idea of like because November is like a writing month. Granted, I found out that that's more so for fiction, but I kind of was wanting to use it for like my own writings and stuff, which wouldn't really be fiction. It'd be like, excuse me, like I guess Jesusism stuff or or philosophical stuff or just Jesusism or or other type of save the world type stuff or like perspective on the world type stuff but um but then also but then more recently it just kind of like became a thing of like just maybe just like a go with the flow or like almost like a follow god kind of thing um i did use yesterday well as far as like looking at because um the the friend that i got a ride back into town from that I was like seeing with her and her husband like there was stuff that we talked about on the way home and like I looked up some stuff in relation to stuff she had said um and then I had a talk with um a a librarian when I got back so there there there's kind of like as far as like utilizing the internet or like knowledge and stuff I did good on that front like I looked up stuff in relation to Greek mythology I looked up so and that's something as far as like that dance between like technology people and then like god like at least kind of like figuring a dance as far as like technology and people like are utilizing the internet which is like a grand tool of our age that we like take for granted or or we just kind of, or it kind of ends up being that like the internet uses us kind of like in a way or like directs us in a way instead of us taking that sword by like the the handle and like kind of thing or at least taking it by the handle more so like maybe not fully because if you get on the internet and if it has cookies or whatever it has that like guides you to stuff that you like like you may want to dance in that too but to have some type of excuse me some type of uh handle on stuff or um control of stuff but um so i did good with that yesterday and then i even was gonna jump on turbo tax and then that so i just am kind of taking time to digest that um and before i'd gone to that couple's place um i had left my charger here And then it was kind of like a like when I was leaving from here to go meet meet up with them that maybe Saturday night or something, like 
and then the the husband here let me know that I had left the charger here. Like it's kind of like thinking that I might need to come back here, but then the other couple they have chargers at their place, so okay, so I don't have to worry about that kind of thing. But then it's good that I left my charger here because now like when I'm like like in this kind of struggle state or whatever like I could just come here like there's a reason to come here and just like kind of get myself together like cuz you got you got to take time to like cuz if I if I didn't do that it's still going to it's going to be relevant potentially like while if I tried to work on other like I just I'm going to take time to like digest or to like to digest this or try or digest it more or something um but i did i did well though like i i mean with this tax stuff there are so many so many like it was such a process part of it because i'm because i'm like because i care about specifics and stuff part of it because of the backpack being stolen and and my ta and tax forms being in it or something um you know part of it with difficulty contacting people but i mean that's kind of to be expected but um at this point like it's just and then and then at least another thing yesterday is i was able to so at, at, well, so at this point, like if the next step would be to like touch base with the IRS because there's an IRS building. Another thing that I ended up doing this year, like in recent months, is that like I went to the IRS and just kind of touched base with them, and was able to find out that like I can call like the Department of as far as that state withholding thing that was like a thing in recent months. That was one of the mo more recent issues or roadblocks as far as this stuff was able to talk to there's like some type of building a downtown that like has an irs within it or something like that and i was able to i went in one day and then that wasn't kind of they would have worked with me but it wasn't kind of ideal so like i said i could come back set an appointment come back another day so i did that came back a different day and then talked to a guy and he was a knowledgeable guy and he told me that i could about like contacting department of revenue for like like for because different I could con there's a department of revenue for like different states but anyway he told me about department of revenue stuff kind of and so like fast forward to like maybe that same evening or another day like i called them and then even talking on the phone with them it was tricky in the beginning for a little bit um identifying myself because i didn't know which address they would have had on file but eventually we figured it out um because I kept saying addresses that weren't to the address he was looking for, <laughs> but uh, even though even though I maybe had already said my um, even though I maybe had already said my uh, um, I might have already said my social security card, maybe not, or my social security number, maybe not, but I already said something, and then. He, the guy still needed my, like, address certificate. Like, he still needed, it wasn't enough, whatever I'd given, whether it was social security number or something else. He still, and then the address thing, there's a specific address that was needed. So, but anyway, um, and even if I wouldn't have remembered that, or even if I wouldn't have said the right address that he was looking for that was on file for him, or that he had on file for me, I still may have been able to get in another way, but but I did end up eventually saying an address that was what he was looking for, and it's the one that's on my driver's license, I think, I think. But um, but even that, even like, but um. Yeah. Um, um, so
so but like so yeah so i even so but anyway so like as of now as of now i should just like essentially give up if i can or just if i have to pay money just pay money like i we're, we're like we're done i think maybe right <laughs> i don't know but um next step for me would be like to talk to the to meet up with the irs again in that building downtown and just but um but at least yesterday and other things that i was able to like call a turbo tax person and talk with them and discern that like it is the case that all my stuff is like gone like that's that's how on october 16th things that haven't been which is it's unfortunate that they don't just like send it for you or i don't like something or like but it's just all gone like And another thing is that, like, I had my federal stuff, like, because there's federal and state, and then I had the federal, did I not? Oh, maybe I didn't have the federal, did, but didn't, I don't know. I either did or almost had the federal done, and that that's another thing is that it'd be weird if, or it'd also be unfortunate if, like, it would have been the case that, like, if I would have had the federal, like, submitted more specifically like or more actually submitted that like that would have counted because i like i essentially had the federal part done but but now that i think of it there may have been some type of thing in relation to state or state withhold or something so maybe i didn't excuse me have it fully done or something or maybe because i went back in to add that sleep study stuff i don't so I did, I did good though. Like if I would have been even more in charge as far as like, you know, like maybe after I talked to the IRS this last like a month or two or whatever ago and like, but I was also doing, I probably would have been doing petitioning stuff around that time, I think. So I don't know. Like, I mean, I had, there's time, but like, I've, that's so like, they just get rid of it. They just get rid of all of it. I didn't know that was a thing. Like, and then you, you could, it all, it could almost be like a thing of like me thinking as far as almost wanting to like blame the IRS guy a little bit, but like TurboTax is like its own thing. Like maybe he would run in, like, you know, that's, that's not, they're not TurboTax. TurboTax is its own thing, you know? So I put my trust in TurboTax, like, you know, you might say Medusa put her trust in Athena you might say, and then that didn't work out. Or there's caveats or nuances of how Athena might act or how TurboTax might act, and then that you wouldn't have thought. But, um... But, I mean, the deadline for taxes was, like, April. And I've had other things that got into my plate that extended things. But Because normally I get my taxes done by April or whatever. Like, in past years, that's when I get my taxes done. But this year, not so much. And, like, and the IRS guy did say to, I think he did say, like, to get it done as soon as possible, ASAP or something like that. But that might have been, like, if it was the case that I owed money. Maybe he just said that in general, but maybe it was the case that if I, like, owed money. But, um, I think he said, like, as soon as possible, or ASAP or something, so. But I, but apparently we had three years to, that you can file taxes. And then, additionally... Even if I somehow, and this is what I was saying to the dude on the phone, because I like I learned what I need to learn from the 
Topher Tux got on the phone as far as like my stuff is gone like but he was trying to help in other ways and like I'm like I can't it's in a way it's kind of like I can't handle it like I'm this is difficult like it's so I kind of like tried to express that like essentially that like I'm like I don't I didn't really want to talk about this other stuff like unless the data can be retrieved or it exists somewhere like like my attention is on like like the data is kind of what I care about like as far as retrieving past tax forms that could potentially help me or or retrieving past tax forms or whatever like I just so I another thing is like I'm not I struggle with talk like talking is something I'm not like fluent or great in and also that has to do with like accuracy specifics concern and stuff like that so whether it's like accuracy or specific stuff or honesty not that I'm like perfect in a way in honesty but like honesty is some honesty morality like not that I'm perfect on these things but like these are things that limit me but also maybe strengthen me and in life different characteristics that I have are going to be things that limit me but then also maybe strengthen me and this year has been this year has been such a year of like loss like the four phones the two backpacks and even in 2020 there was stuff lost and then like now this TurboTax data as far as this year this year that has the four phones and the two backpacks like that's lost but then besides actual Halloween night I had like a great Halloween you know few days at their place and then And then, like, even earlier this month, like, like, October had, had some, uh, like, as far as Halloween or October, it wasn't even just this past, uh, visit, like, even back at home, when I visited home for five days, like, I was watching stuff on TV, like, I watched part of Casper, which is something I watched when I was younger, and that's a good movie. Um, and then just kind of like thinking in the direction of like occult or like, um, you know, from certain things that I saw. It's from certain things that I saw when I was at my parents' house on TV and then watching Jujutsu Kaisen with my youngest brother. Like that and or other stuff just kind of got me thinking in a certain philosophical direction as far as the occult or like like satan type stuff or whatever or just things that kind of like get into our mainstream or that are like it just kind of had me stuff that i saw on tv at my parents house and then and jujutsu kaisen and stuff i think as well kind of got me philosoph philosophizing or kind of thinking in a certain direction and just in a philosophical sense or like a perspective sense and then also like in an enjoyment sense like halloween october has kind of been like some this year um and even though this tax stuff has been hard to digest like when I, you know, after that, finding that out or that happening at the library, like, I was thinking of how, like, you know, I, I think I thought of, like, Woman 3 or, like, how, like, people, like, wouldn't care because of this, like, pedophile status or stuff like that. And, like, because even one of the times that I lost my phone, someone who I think would be Woman 3 on, like, YouTube or something was, like, I hope it's the P or... I don't know if she would have said I hope, but like, and maybe it wasn't Woman 3, but I, I, I think this would have been Woman 3, but like, 
but it might maybe it wouldn't have but like something of like that maybe it's um maybe not the police but so, someone to, to look in your phone to see if there's that or uh, something i don't know but like if thought of that past comment or something and just like how like people want, like there's literally people that and that's not, like there's people that literally like if i died people that maybe don't would actually know me but would just know about like this uh reputation or identity that's developed online or something there's people that like if i died they would like either be happy or like partially like and then even even in doing petitioning like you just see how like there's just like a darkness or just or whatever you want to call it to like us in the present but there's always a darkness in humans like or in culture or in humanity or some maybe not culture but like in humanity although it, maybe it can be in culture in a in a degree but i mean when you want to assign characteristics to culture you normally want to you normally kind of lean towards the directions of beauty but like group of people which in a way is culture i guess there can be negative too or unless you want to call that humanity or whatever but even with petitioning like when that old when that older woman died like things that people were saying or in regards to her like because the topic of which i was petitioning like related to age and stuff like and like people would like so people would like bring that up because you know it's it's a news thing it's a because there's and like this is someone who died like you know like a life matters and like the things that people would say or they would just it's like the, her life was just it didn't so i would at points i would try to say like it looked because i had seen on the news or something that like sh she had accomplished things in her life or like like i kind of learned some stuff about her from like this one news thing that i ended up seeing maybe at the salvation army maybe but like so i would try to say like it looks like she accomplished stuff in her life like and try to like you know get like say something for her or give something to her life or whatever you want to call that but like because people would just be like like here's someone who's dead and like there wasn't there wasn't respect or love I mean, there might have been, like, an attempt at respect after I said my, like, oh, it looks like she accomplished stuff in her life, then they might, you know, there might be a little respect, or maybe, I mean, maybe, like, it was, but just to see how people, like, so for me, that has a reputation as pedophile or whatnot, like, pe people that dance with that reputation, but that knew me, mo like, they're more likely to care about if I died or something, but, like, people that don't know me as well and like there's know this reputation or whatnot like there's people that like if i died like i don't like it's it's just like this culture like it's like oh just just love everyone like all the religions are essentially just saying love everyone or just and you know this culture speaks of love america speaks of love or like just be kind or da 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 but that love i've said it and i'll say it again that love is so surface is it, that love is surface level but um But even though, like, this was a tough thing yesterday, and, and then I was, like, thinking as far as, like, how, you know, I thought of that comment that may or may not have been from the YouTube version or YouTube handle of Woman 3, may or may not have been her, um, and just kind of thinking of how, like, you know, like, I'm in, because I'm in this, like, this down place or, what, or whatever you want to call it and like how like people wouldn't care or something but god didn't have that what like like that's what i was thinking but then like you know as i was leaving there was not the same librarian that i was talking about that i because i think i've said that i talked to a librarian yesterday but like a different librarian um on the way out, like, I maybe said hi, and then, like, 
maybe she asks how you're how you are doing now most people here's where my being specific or my trying to be honest or whatever actually helped me because normally people if they're asked how are you like they're just going to be like oh fine or whatever and i kind of i kind of like do that too like i i sometimes don't i a decent amount of time don't feel in equilibrium in relation to like my answer to how are you or something but like she was like you know i i would imagine i maybe said hi first and then maybe she said how are you and then but i i mean I don't know for sure if she specifically said, how are you? But like, more or less, I'm guessing I said hi or something. And then I'm guessing she asked, how have you been or how are you doing? Maybe. But I ended up saying, like kind of speaking on, I ended up getting into like the tax stuff I had going on. And like, it's not that she ended up providing any like answers on that front. But I think, I mean, I can't remember. I don't know if I remember exactly, but like, I think she cared. And if... I, th I think she showed care, probably. I, I can't remember exactly, but talking to her, like, or expressing, like, even expressing my distress to that TurboTax dude on the phone and, like, just being, trying to, like, put my emotions, like, to, like, express them of, like, even though it was rough or, like, because I'm, I'm not always good at talking. So, like, I, I couldn't just be, like, hey, like, I... I think I got what I need from this phone call. Like I'm too, what I, like I wasn't succinct into the point, but like me kind of expressing my distress, like verbally, like helped, I think to some degree, but like, like expression can help. Like there's points where these videos in all the time that I've been doing YouTube, it like, ex like expression can help. Instead of, like, keeping stuff bottled within, like, expression, give yourself, giving yourself time for digestion, um, whatever else can help. But, um, but then with the librarian downstairs, though, I ended up making, like, a joke or saying something in relation to, like, something that's, like, kind of a thing between us, kind of. I mean, at this point, it's more so just me that <laughs> it's a thing for, but like, but talking like express, and it wasn't even long that because I was on my way to the bus and, and somehow I wasn't late to the bus because I stopped and talked with her for a couple minutes. And then like on my way out, there's actually another dude who like there, cause there was a day some weeks ago when I was still doing petitioning stuff that like his friend was on the ground and like, and I actually thought this dude that I that I saw yesterday at the time however many weeks ago I in my mind it crossed my mind or like I wonder if like he was like I think I thought of like if he was like taking stuff from the guy on the floor or like kind of wandered in that direction but um I think I thought that yeah but then I approached the situation however many weeks ago and like that wasn't that it, he would like he was actually helping the guy or th like that wasn't the case but um but then I end up calling nine one one and like kind of sticking around and and then the dude that I saw yesterday like we like weeks or months ago whatever at this past situation like he had to go at a certain point and then I still kind of tried to stick around until the cops eventually came and then um anyway um. And the, the dude that I saw yesterday, like, yeah, I think he was gone when the cops came. And then I think, and then, but maybe I saw him later that night or something. Like, I don't think he was around when the cops came. I think he left earlier than that. And I don't think he was there when the cops came, but I think, but anyway, saw him yesterday and he was like, like I was, I w didn't even recognize him. And I was like, I kept looking and even that, even that small variable of that like that there's something that caught my attention like maybe it might have been that there was a woman um or maybe it maybe it was them at first but then there was a woman or something but like he noticed me and then like and i didn't rec and i don't think i recognized him but then when he described what he knew me from then i like knew who it was but like he cared about my well-being even without knowing even without the tax stuff being brought up like he like he cared and he might have even said like i don't know if he said keep smiling or something i'm not sure 
but he cared about my well-being and stuff like he and just kind of and that's even out regardless of the tax stuff even though i think i mentioned that a little bit at one point and then like fast forward to you know so after like some of these interactions like that kind of got me in a better place so now i'm like running to go get to the bus which i somehow still i mean it's a little because when i left like with me taking time to talk to the librarian and then like i didn't spend i didn't talk too much with with the other guy but like but anyway so i i ended up making it on the bus and then like there's three people all of them end up being people that i like know kind of like the one dude is the dude that was also holding a sign because i was holding a sign for my jesusism stuff that's my ego needing to differentiate that or something kind in a way or like but anyway but like or at least that's one way of looking at it but um but there's a dude that i that i'd seen like the a dude that probably doesn't speak much english but he knew but even in on the bus or or maybe on the bus and or after getting off the bus at new life or something like he brought up the new religion thing or something um but like he knew me the girl behind me is the person that works at the bus that like at one point I had thought was maybe acting off with me and maybe like knew about this stuff or whatnot, but like, we're cool. Like, so we talked with her and actually with her, I ended up talking about the tax stuff and she told me about how, like, she actually gave me, told me something that I've heard from someone like months ago. Um, as far as like how either the IRS or someone like just has all your, you can like how they just like have all your stuff or something and they can like, so I've heard this before, more or less, I think, but I heard it from her yesterday, from this girl too yesterday of like how like you can just like print it off or request it or something or that IRS, ha IRS has it or somebody has it or something. Um, so there's potential something towards future steps or something. But at this point, I might want to just, I mean, because even for TurboTax, apparently at this point, even if I want, even if I had the, and I said this to the dude on the phone on TurboTax or the TurboTax guy, like, even if I had the gall or strength or however I said it to start over, like, or maybe I put that wording in, I said something like that in my ascertaining of what, like, so I, this, so I made of maybe with the dude, TurboTax guy, like, maybe I heard something and I was just kind of like, affirming at one point or clarifying maybe you could say like so even if i have the gall or strength to like start over it's the case that i would have to like buy like you either have to like buy or download the TurboTax stuff or something like so even if i wanted to start over on TurboTax, which i don't i would have to like buy and or download stuff like and it's like a like <sighs> So, um, but so if I wanted to, anyway, um, but, and then, and then there is the dude, the dude in front of me is the person that like was and maybe still is dating um ice cream ice cream party friend and he knew that i'd been doing petitioning so he was asking about that and we just and we talked about that so i ended up getting like fist bumps from like three people around me so like so god didn't have that yesterday as far as like i because i had this thing of like that just like that you know because i'm in this like down place and then it's like the thinking of like no one like no one is gonna like care or something because of this like pedophile reputation or whatever but not nah, like whether it's off of me whether it's in part of me like being in the specific like take like as far as like the how are you or that like kind of formality that people don't always treat genuinely and even i am not always in a place where i end up like be treating it like fu like fully honestly i guess you could say like it kind of but 
because I, I often I feel out of equilibrium in as far as honesty or something of like people asking how are you and like it feeling like the answer I gave isn't like the right answer or the honest answer or the good answer or something but and but I don't but then my own compass of what is off might might be off because like it's not like I'm like because I, I mean, I do kind of communicate like I was because I do kind of imply or say a little bit of like if I'm feeling off or or there's something off, like I kind of say like a little something in that direction, at least sometimes or kind of like give some if I'm if someone asks, how are you? And like, I'm not feeling good, like I'm not 100 for 100 or 10 for 10. I'm like always being like, oh, not that good or or whatever. But like, at least sometimes I say something that's kind of in the direction of <laughs> excuse me, of like or kind of a little implication or something towards like that something's off or something. Um, but yeah, whether, so whether it's, whether it's in my, I don't know, me being, me being honest or being like, genuine or being more real whatever you want to say with like how are you or stuff like that yesterday might be part of what got me to some comfort or some whatever from people um but also there are just people like like that dude in the library like he was caring even outside of tax related stuff and then like maybe less than a week ago when i went downtown i saw both both those Native American women that like think highly or care or love me or like whatnot, like in the sh like saw both of them downtown that went like that day. So like, there's people that care about me, like because of whatever interactions that have happened. There's like an anxiousness being downtown or being around people and stuff that clouds the reality of or like clouds the, because in reality, there are people that care and there's people that are positive and stuff or, but like, because of whatever situations, maybe because of some downtown ones or something or whatever, it just like paints this and paints this negative or leads to this anxiousness or kind of leads to this whatever perception that kind of paints over stuff or like whatever. <laughs> Um, and even at New Life, there's this dude that I was just like talking with that was talking to me about treating trick or treat and talking about how like white people trick or treat or like essentially how white people trick or treat earlier versus how like he or maybe people on the res or Native Americans or something like tr trick or treat at like 12 or 1 a.m. or something like not to say that that's for sure a normal res or Native American thing, but he was kind of saying something towards how he or maybe people on the res or maybe or like trick or treat at like 12 or 1 a.m or something so like so he was just being conversational to me and stuff but like so where i thought that like people don't care or, or you know everyone like because of my pedophile reputation or whatever that like people are just gonna like not care reg kind of like i mean i guess you could kind of say like not that i thought of it in these words and this is again me being unnecessarily specific like but not that i per se thought of it in these words but like it's kind of the idea of like regardless of what i meant or you know, if I'm in like in whatever situation that people aren't going to care, but like that wasn't like, not that every person that talked to me, if any of them knows about that reputation or that internet stuff or like people's perception or whatever, but like people cared. And like one of the Native American women, which wasn't relevant for yesterday per se, but like she's heard stuff about me and she lit that day that I'm talking about like a week ago or whatever she was saying how like 
she was implying or saying that like people say stuff or something but she was like she like she believes that she she was saying some like kind of like encouraging stuff that day or just i don't know if she was saying like you can do anything that you can put you can do anything that you want or put your mind to kind of thing she might have said something kind of in that direction um and she was saying to the other person there that like i was a good man or something like that um and she she was just kind of, she was kind of implying or saying that like it's that people say stuff about me or something it's kind of what i think i was getting but like but she like thinks of me as she thinks um she uh Yeah, she she thinks she she thinks well of me. She thinks highly of me. It seems it's like just, I mean, maybe overall, maybe just. And now I have a number because um because I was gonna try to help her with food stuff for her and her. For her and her man with going to like this food pantry place but then wasn't able to like touch base with her but or actually like make something happen off of that even though i did go to the place but um but now i have her number too and then i saw her man yesterday in the library too and talked to him a little bit and then it was a beautiful like sun sunset yesterday and then I was, I tried to go to the storage unit, but even though I wasn't asleep, like I somehow missed my stop. And that's again, like a God playing with the veal thing, I think, because there, maybe there, I don't know, maybe the, maybe not, but maybe there are like little spirits or angels or something that just kind of like. Because we're fragile, we can break or we can lose things or we can, there's things that can happen. And yet, somehow, even though stuff, even though there's been trials, even though there's, I mean, there's been bad, there's been good, there's been whatever. But like, I'm 32 years old and like, I'm still alive. You know, there's all the great ambitions that one might have for one's life. But like, that I'm 32 years old and that I'm still alive is like. Cause there's, there's little nuances of things that you like, cause like yesterday, like, and maybe this isn't a thing, but like yesterday, like I was on the phone, like I was walking cause I went somewhere last night. I went, I kind of went two places. Anyway, there's some night, some like sort of night adventures last night before I came here cause I had time to kill, but, um. But on my way to the bus stop, back downtown to the bus stop, like, and when I was, like, probably close to downtown, there's a point where I was, like, on my phone or something, and there was a car. And, like, again, this, this, th maybe this isn't even a thing, but, like, what if, like, the car didn't see me and or I didn't see the car? Like, I, I, I don't know who saw who first for sure, but, like, like what if that could have been an accident or something like borderline every day has things that could go a certain way. And like back to the U-Haul thing yesterday, like there's times where I usually sleep on that bus and usually I'm able to like somehow wake up at the right time or like catch the bus or something. And could there be spirits or angels or something involved that like are, you know, that are, that help me always wake up or just know that that's a pattern or something. Or what about the two last times that I went to U-Haul and then like coming back and then like those darkness experiences, like it did God open the veal or like, let me be able to be more in touch with my subconscious or something. So I can kind of learn or do something with that because both times it happened on the way back from my storage unit, like on the bus for part of it or, or most of it or, or something 
like there's just there's things that we can't see and like granted in the realms of spirituality and whatever we could just be making up stuff or theorizing stuff and just painting whatever because that's that's the risk of like with things that you can't see but like maybe there's things that we can't see <laughs> that are maybe really relevant maybe but but like yesterday like i don't know if i slept at all on the bus like maybe but i don't know if i did maybe but like i thought like i should have been cuz i noticed this osgood fire station which is kind of weird if i'm just noticing that unless i've noticed it before i don't know but i was just kind of noticing it and then and that's close to the bus stop that i normally get off of and then a little bit later to my like shock or like another a little example of just another thing hard to digest is like how to because if you miss your bus in osgood with that situation like you're kind of kaput unless you want to stop somewhere and do something and then wait for the next bus like that bus comes like once an hour so like and in the past the bus like i think like would come back so like in the past in past years like if you were to like miss the if i would have missed that bus stop like i would have been able to like get off a little bit later but that's no longer the case it only goes by that place once and like i could get off another place and walk like however much to get back to that place but by the time that i realized like i was i couldn't believe it or i like it was like how but it happened so maybe i just wasn't supposed to get off or something but like and you can overdo you know all that like oh god did that or things happen for a reason or whatever like and even what i attribute to god like it could be like a subservient being of God, like an angel or spirit or whatever or something. But, um, but, um, um, And then, like, earlier that day, I was also, like, really thrown off because at the library, before TurboTax stuff, like, before I even went in the library, I think. But anyway, earlier in the day, like, there was a... There was, um... The, the Sodbuster statue. And, like... I was talking with someone and then I looked over and like it kind of ended up like kind of breaking the conversation I think was this like that I saw these like seeds or kind of what looked like seeds and like I thought they were real but they were just part of the statue and like so like maybe even that I was wondering if it was new or something and then I noticed this like grasshopper that's also part of the statue thing and then I and then like either after the seeds or after the grasshopper, like, I was, like, starting to be, like, intentional about trying to notice stuff, and I noticed, the, like, sweat drops on the guy, on the Sodbuster statue, and, like, so I went up and asked the librarian later on that day of, like, did, were there, like, new additions to the Sodbuster statue thing, and, like, apparently there, there probably wasn't, or at least, because he's someone that would, like, know, like, he, he's someone that might know, and like, if it's the case that 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 some of that stuff has always been there, like maybe I've noticed the sweat drops before, and I just like, you know, didn't store it or something. But like those seeds, like that was w like, and then like, I don't know. It just I just feel like in little or big way, like the statue, the Sarpasu statue thing would be an example. The the Osgood fire station that I noticed yesterday might be a thing the the for some reason missing my bus stop is maybe an example um but like in little and large ways like god might just have veals or something on what we are able to detect or not detect and But there, there should be a creator. 
and if there wasn't a creator but then the idea with a creator is then like well then who created that the creator and then who created that creator like where is the like what made the thing that created then there's like where do, there, it's it's kind of hard to digest or make sense of things even on a creator front but then if there isn't a creator then like how would all this stuff ju that also doesn't make sense i almost feel like it makes less sense like because then it's just that because with a creator with the idea of a creator it's like who you know you can run into like well then who made them but then and then who made the person who made them but then with no creator it's like all this stuff is just, that that doesn't make sense because like it like that doesn't make sense i don't think a creator doesn't kind of doesn't make sense either because then who made that or who made him or her who made the creator but then but then if the if the if the idea is that there's no creator then like that that doesn't make sense either but um but whoever you choose to believe in whether it be i mean especially for like the bigger things in your life like as far as a creator or a deity or a partner or a company that you're going to have a career with mm -hmm. but especially for like the biggest the biggest or the bigger things in your life i'm gonna let's just say as far as like a creator or like a god that you follow because that that's what i'm going to focus on but like to make sure that it's not like a medusa and athena situation granted there's more of that story that i don't know but i would think but And it's also interesting that, like, from watching the Peter Pan and Wendy thing the last night on, like, Halloween night, I think, um, that, like, off of that, I had, like, certain thoughts that kind of, like, overlap with how to deal with, like, mythologies or something. Like, watching Peter Pan and Wendy, since it's a variation on the Peter Pan story, kind of, like, there's little, there's little things that are the same or kind of, the, there's things that are the same or kind of the same, but then there's, like, new things to the story, and then it kind of, like, led, what Peter Pan and Wendy stuff led to that, the live action Peter Pan and Wendy that I guess they made this year, I think, like, led to, like, thoughts on how to deal with kind of, like, mythologies, kind of, I think, like, kind of, like, that there's a story and like things may change but like how it like keeps the same message maybe something like that like things can change but there's cert but it like keeps the same like message or something i don't know but i feel like i had like thoughts that like like i thought in the direction of mythology i think if i'm not mistaken and like the next day mythology ends up being kind of a like ends up being brought up <sighs> like even that i that i don't think is for not per se like amazing things can happen through people but we're fragile like heartbeat stop breath stops heartbeat stop or breath stop don't get enough food i mean in this day and age getting food isn't too big of a problem for if you're in america but like heartbeats breath food water <laughs> like and then whatever the world can do that could lead to your death or whatever accidents could happen like we're fragile and then like and then there's different types of loss that could happen like i've experienced the difficult losses of phones backpacks the turbo tax data which i still may need to digest or i don't know and then like you know like 
your parents could die you're like last night i talked about like how i had night adventures like so there's this girl there's this girl that i really be like liking um and she and she like she likes me but also like i think likes me but also like controls herself kind of or something but but like i walked her to her shelter or to the shelter that she stays at and then so in past videos i talked about how like so i'm not allowed to go to dempsey's but like how there's this new place that i had heard about that like i met like there's some video where i probably talked about like how like i'm not allowed to go to dempsey's anymore but like but what about but there's this other place that someone told me about that that like you know could be a new place anyway there's this place that i've mentioned in a past video i think and like when i was getting driven back up to fargo i was i saw this build well the person that gave me a ride like maybe brought it up or something and then Maybe that led to me, like, because I think she said something about how she wanted to go to, like, she wanted to go to somewhere that was maybe in that building, but, like, either off of her pointing out something that's in the, or bringing up something that's maybe in the building, or it might have been off of her that I, like, came to realize that, like, this, that was the building, because, like, even though I'd been given kind of directions on how to get there in the past, like, I didn't really know how to get there, um, but so, like, since I knew where that building was, and then fast forward to that night, because I had time until, like, when I could come here, and I had this time to kill, and, like, and I didn't know what to do with it for a bit. Um, and even though it, last night it felt like I didn't know what to do with it or something, like, with where I ended up going, it's, like, it's almost like there was already, like, a plan for that night, debatably, because I saw that girl that, like, I've really liked that points in the past, even though mentally there's some stuff that's off. Granted, we all have stuff that's mentally off, just in different ways. But, um... Like, I have stuff that's mentally off. The girl that gave me a ride back has stuff that's mentally off. The, gu the, hus the, the husband here has stuff that's mentally off. The, w the wife that's here has stuff that's mentally, mentally off, like... Woman 3 has stuff that's mentally out, like, every, like, some are more, more discernible to, to, that are more discernible than others, like, but, but anyway, um, so, but I walked her to her, I bust with her, and then walked with her, and helped her carry one of her things, and, like, walked to the day, to, to the shelter or whatnot, and, and I felt like one of the girls in there was, like, looking at me a certain way, but that's what at least it seemed like. But took her there, and then, like, I was, like, kind of in the direction of that building. Um, So I just, so I kept walking, even though, like, sp spiritual stuff inside kind of felt like maybe a little bit like I shouldn't or something, kind of. Or maybe didn't feel to go in that direction or something, but, like, I decided to go in that direction so like i walked um went up went, ended up going there almost didn't go inside because i thought it was maybe i thought it was just a bar or something so i almost didn't go inside but then i did go inside and it's a good thing that i did because like even though the bar is right like there or whatever there's like other stuff inside there and then i end up going and seeing the woman they were still open and also if this wasn't a day that they're having like a certain crafts event or something if I'm under, if I am discerning correctly or understanding correctly or something, they might have, uh, they might have been closed or, or closing. Like maybe I, cause I don't know how far past eight it was that I went there. So maybe even if they would have been closing yesterday, maybe, maybe they still would have been there or something. But, but because there's crafts going on that like led to them staying open longer, I think, or her staying open longer, I think, or because there's something, related to her or crafts or something going on upstairs i guess like they ended up being open longer um but so like i ended up talking with her and stuff and we ended up talking about death um because she had like these heart earrings that uh had 
a quote from apparently from Barbie. Like I noticed the earrings and I wanted to know what they said. And then she said, like, do you think about she? And then she told like told me, and it's like, do you think about death or something like that? Um, and then we just kind of talked about like we. T I told her about my tax stuff too, um, and then we maybe talked about other stuff. She talked about like small business work or just just talked about her like work stuff. Um, and then um, but then fast forward to like w when I asked about those earrings, we ended up talking about death and she's like a positive person, like or like a smiling person. But she she apparently thinks about death and I have been thinking about death in recent years and like and then um and then I ended up doing a freestyle, which maybe wasn't that good, but she said she liked it. And she might have been being genuine. Um, <laughs> and then, yeah, and then I had to leave to catch the bus. But uh, and then I and I bought candy from there. But um, and I got a discount. And like, even in relation to her, like, again, like all this negative stuff. Of, or this ang anxiousness in relation to re recent stuff or whatever, it clouds my being able to, like, be in the positive... Because one one aspect, I guess, of this stuff is that, like, any bond can be cut off or disrupted. Like, and there's no, um, like... I don't know. anyway but like in talking with her like instead of like being able to be in the fullness of the good past that we've had or the bond or whatnot like like there's just i guess i don't know if you there's just the recent situations like clouds in negative negativity or anxiousness or whatever even this an interaction like or it's like a looming thing in some capacity like but if the negative can inaccurately, at least in a way, inaccurately paint over, because in a way it's accurate, I guess, but in a way it's like, in a way it's an accurate reality, um, that like the anxiousness that I have in relation to, because someone could just say something out of nowhere, like, I don't know, like my, it's, it's a, it's an inaccuracy in a way. And it's an accuracy in a way, but if negative can be, can loom over things, even when it's like not on point in a way, then positivity maybe can loom over negative things. And I wouldn't want it to loom over things if it's inaccurate, like I'd want it to be accurate. I want, I want truth. I want accuracy, but like maybe positivity can loom over stuff too then. And, like, when bad stuff happens, like, we stick to it, or it sticks to us, or something, but, like, you know, like, yesterday, there's different things that were still gonna happen, besides the TurboTax stuff, before the TurboTax stuff, after the TurboTax stuff, there's other things to dance with, there's other variables that are coming, you know, like, even, it could be the case that, like, because as far as my charger being here, like, that, like, that may even before I even went to Kensington, like that may have already been known that that was going to happen. And so that there is some, like I was going to need to like, to like, it would be good for like, that may have already been known. Like, so if you just don't get to it, but then, I mean, there's some stuff that like, how are you not going to stick to it? And you like need to digest it or something, but like to just not get too stuck on stuff and like to, to listen it, it was it was hard this morning but i got i kind of got out uh um of this day is the lord's i think and then I'll, and then like this is going to be a the road of light entry i believe and like the god seed and god seeds are like you know more relevant things are like all the way to jupiter that's more fresh on my mind or more relevant like all the way to jupiter even very able could be a relic kind of relevant thing um you know like the god seed stuff or what i kind of came to consider god seeds from the road of white like that's 
something that's like distant or whatever, but like, and even TurboTax, you know, going back and forth with it this year, like, you know, it's something that I kept returning to, but it, you know, it kind of, you, you kind of become disassociated from the journey, you know, I, you know, or c you can kind of become disassociated with the journey in a way or something, but like, I'm going to die, you're going to die, everybody's going to die, <laughs> like, I think about death, the lady at, uh, at the place I went to last night thinks about death, but it's not normal really for humans to think about death, unless it is, um, but like, people that die, like, they don't die feeling like, like, people are caught by surprise when they die, right, so like, you know, people say like, oh, you could die t tomorrow, you could die today, like, I'm probably not going to die today or tomorrow. Probably. Most likely. Unless I am. But, like, death is probably going to catch you by surprise. So, like... Or might catch you by surprise. But, like... I mean, unless you end up being in one of those death situations where you're warned, like, oh, you only have so much, so many months to live or, or that here's this health concern. Like, if you're aware of, like, a health concern or something that, like... There's ways that you can be, like, aware of, like, potentially or more definitively incoming death. There's ways that you can kind of be aware of that. But, um, but like, as far as the God Seed, this, this is, like, the first one of, like, what, even though I've, in the Road of Light, season, level three, season two entries, like, in recent ones, I've start for one or more recent ones, I've used, like, things earlier in the road of light level 300 days of purpose and consequences um like what i like originally considered god seeds and what is kind of like as far as like what actually like what kind of more so counts as god seeds for me like um Oh, I guess I could take this a different direction too. But the the direction that I think I was going to take it is like I, Oh, wait a minute. Actually. Okay, where I had thought because I've even be like I don't know how maybe even yesterday I was thinking of this being like cuz I might have already even thought of this like yesterday as far as my intentions with this video, but so you, potentially as early as last night or yesterday or something like the God seed that I would have thought of, because when I do these road, the road of light level three season two entries, I try to tie it to a God seed or what I consider God seeds. Um, and the one that I was thinking was like, what kind of is like the first one, I think. Um, cause towards the end of the road of light level three, like towards the end, there's like what I kind of consider God seeds. Um, and like, this one was, uh, it's kind of the idea of being at the front of your world. So there, there's two directions that I could go. The front of your world thing is what I, what I was thinking that I was going to do for this. But just recently like in this video it occurs to me that i could do something that's like earlier than what i consider like kind of normally consider god in the past i've considered god seed territory like earlier in the road of light um level three under days of purpose and consequences there's the idea of like disalignment like how one thing with the devil if there's a devil like as far as like disalignment and that may be and normally I only do one God seed per huh maybe I should do the disalignment thing because I don't think I've done that yet and that's that's not like a God seed but I I don't know <laughs> um but in one or more recent um the road of light level three season two entries i've allowed myself to use things prior to what i would kind of consider god seed period in the road of light level three 
Um, so if I'm willing to do that again, then disalignment is something that I maybe, you know, because like yesterday, for example, like TurboTax difficulties, but like even right after that, there's other variables that like can come into my pudding. Like, but when something bad happens, it like you like block or you like you stick to that thing or it sticks to you and you like block you like kind of start to like lose connection to things that happened before like i had a great experience for the mo like there are bumps in my visit in that last visit um and then like halloween night there was like kind of some drama or whatnot um which like more so between the couple but that like i was like a little bit that I was somewhat connected to or a little bit connected to, um, a little or somewhat connected to, um, but like besides that night and besides the bumps on the way, kind of, that was like one of the best Halloween experiences. Um, you know, and that, so that's on one side of things. And like when something like yesterday happens, you start to like lose connection to that. And then right after the turbo tax stuff, like, there's good or like even the sunset something as simple as a sunset but sunsets be hidden and like the sunset and like the people on the bus before the bus like there's things and then like so i was gonna go my intention was that i was gonna go the um like being at the front of your world that was like the first of as far as what normally has counted as god seed period like towards the end of the road of light level three um perhaps the first of what could be considered like those god seeds it might maybe it's not the first but the idea that like because you do there's all these things that it, it kind of was like the thing of like how there's different things that a person does in life or that i've done in my life and like people don't no don't end up don't not like people don't give you credit for that like people people do give you credit for stuff but like there's things that like you've done or like you know maybe it's little things maybe it's big but like like even look at medusa like we know her whether fiction or real like obviously i'm gonna end up thinking of her as fiction and like other people will too but like even her as a store or what but whatever way you want to look at her but medusa like we think of her as like snakes on her head just st all we think about her, of her is like snakes on her head turns people to stone i did not and medusa is a name that i've heard is not new to me i did not know that apparently this person used to be like a loyal priestess to athena and then just ha and then had some stuff happen with poseidon there's different variations of the story but like um the girl that brought me back told me that she was raped but in what i looked up um that there's that's not for sure but like poseidon there's i think there's versions where she where you know maybe she more so granted then that would be more understandable like athena wise because if poseidon's the one that like caused things then that's unfortunate that like things happened to medusa but if like if a, if medusa was like a willing more of a willing party in that happening then that's more understandable on athena's part or in the direction of athena and what she chose to do i guess but um but anywho there's aspects of Medusa's story that most people maybe don't know. And that's whether it's like, whether it's celebrities, whether it's religious characters. Like, I didn't know that Buddhism apparently doesn't believe in a soul. Like, I just, I think that's what I just maybe learned yesterday. Like, I was also looking up stuff about Buddhism and whatever else yesterday. Like, I did good on like knowledge searches or just um i did good on as far as like utilization of the internet or like looking up stuff or like knowledge searches that aspect of as far as like this 
this month or something that I kind of want to be doing. Like I did good on that front. Um, and even last night, I kind of started trying to do some like writing stuff, but it was, it didn't get far. <laughs> In fact, and then I even like, I think I even like kind of deleted what I'd done so far. So, and what I'd done so far was like hardly sentences, like maybe sentence, a few sentences or something. But, um, so like there's, there's people or like whoever's or whatever is that like there's different things different people different essences different things that like we don't you know like we don't know the full story to and like so with that being the case like the kind of jumps that i had and i'm not i'm not gonna remember the exact you know this may not be 100 percent accurate but like so off of the realization that like you know for my world like there's people like it kind of ends up being the thing of like you don't get credit for everything in your world but like but that it's still a re i don't know like i guess you could say but that it's still a reality you know your world something like that like if it's the case that people aren't gonna like that people don't know your world accurately or credit your world accurately or whatnot then like it's your world and then like you can be on and then you can do what you want with that kind of like as far as like you can be on the front of your world like be more active and stuff or be more like like cobra kai more in charge like the front of the line like take that approach or you can be in the back of your world and be more like laissez-faire and like kind of like how i am at points um which that that's just that's how my mind ended up going kind of thing um So that's where I was going to go as far as like a God seed to put in this Road of Light level three season two entry as far as like, because if this happened with TurboTax, then like with dreams that, you know, with even something like with things that I want to do. Like that I may want to take a more front of the world approach kind of thing. Because all that work with TurboTax stuff, and it's just gone. You know? Like, if you don't do certain things, like, they may just... You may not get to do them. Or, I don't know, just... you That a person may want to be more on the front of the world. Like, there's things that you can do that, like, even if you don't finish it, you can still... Like, you know, maybe someone else, like, got to experience a little bit. Like, Jesus, my Jesusism writings that I think are dope. Like, let's say I were to die now or soon like i've left pages like every month more or less over the last year or something so there's people that have come into contact with certain pages i've also shown certain pages in like the hundred in the road of light level three 100 days of purpose and consequences um i've given full writings of like the first i've like I, i've given the full thing to someone at least full at the time and then there came a point in recent months where like i had it into like three sections and then i would give a section to a different person every month so like there's people that like have danced with or that i've been exposed to it but like so that's something but like that's at least something um or like let's say you have a great game of chess with someone like at least that person even if you lose will still will you know if you have certain great moves or something they may they get to see that or experience that um you know like there's ways that even if you don't complete stuff that it can still have touched or touch someone or touch people or be relevant or something but like you may be done before you intend to be done like with this TurboTax thing, all the, all the, like, all the hoops this year in different little aspects of this TurboTax journey of trying to, like, you know, with how I care about doing things, how I care about specifics or doing the right things the right way or whatever you want to call it, like, all, all, like, the calls, the little efforts, the, just the contacting, Every, like, all the stuff that I've done this year is just gone. <laughs> um, 
and that's what could happen as far as like you know your life and what you would have hoped to do in it you don't know when like when people die like think of because even though i haven't died yet even though you haven't died yet like think of the people that have died other humans that have died do you think like for some reason we just kind of take this approach to death even though death is definitely going to happen like and we've seen other human like we've we maybe haven't seen a human in the process of dying and actually die but like people that die do you think they were like that they knew they were gonna die that like there there are people that get that or that that's how that happens but like people are caught surprised by dying they may not have gotten done they probably don't get done everything that they would have wanted to get done but and maybe to some degree that's inevitable to some degree But, like, so if there's stuff that you really want to get done, like, you know, a person may want to be in the front of their world so as to be able to. But then, I mean, there's all you also don't want to fully I mean, that to be in the front of your world all the time in every way, like takes away from the magic of things. But then it can also take away it can also lead to like loss, too. It can also lead to negative. There's a good and a bad to different things. If you take a more front of the world approach, like there's fruit to that and there's bad to that or loss to that probably too. So like you want, you probably want to trust or flow or, you know, do things to a certain degree, but to a certain degree, maybe you have to take charge kind of. Or trust the right beings or the right essences or the right people that won't lead you astray. <laughs>